We're here in the city of Kherson in southern Ukraine, and this city spent nearly nine months under Russian occupation. It was captured in the early days of the war and wasn't liberated until mid-November. And when you walk around this city, you'll see a lot of symbols like this. A yellow ribbon. You'll also see Ukrainian flags. And these markings were made by residents of Kherson well, they were living under Russian occupation. They say it was meant to send a message to other Ukrainians of solidarity and resistance, and also a message to the Russians that their presence was not wanted here. And there are symbols like this all throughout the city. And what began as a largely silent, symbolic protest soon evolved into a full-blown underground resistance. Lilia Alexandrova is a stay-at-home mother of three. But under Russian occupation, she took on a new job as a member of the Ukrainian resistance. She began by secretly spraying these Ukrainian flags and yellow ribbons around her neighborhood in the middle of the night. My hands were shaking and my heart was pounding. I was so nervous, she says. Before long, she found the courage to secretly send information about the Russians, their activities and positions to the Ukrainian military. She used an encrypted chat group set up by Ukrainian IT workers, including Alex, who asked us to protect his identity. We have a lot of people who helped the resistance who were caught by the Russians, he says. They were taken away. We don't know where they are for sure. Alex and others helped to organize these anti-Russian protests in her son during occupation. And in November, the Ukrainian military used the coordinates provided by residents to launch their counter-offensive. Ukraine retook control of the strategic port city, sparking celebrations in the streets. Organizers say their membership has now swelled to more than 4,000 people. And while Kherson has been liberated, they're now working to support other areas living under Russian occupation. Jeff Semple, Global News in Kherson.